In this video, we're going to be going over daily warm-ups numbers 11 through 18. These are all different types of bowings, um, utilizing every favorite basic type of bowing we will use on any string instrument. This is for violin or viola. It's exactly the same. Now, the key is a good bow hand. Curve fingers, uh, we've talked about this, um, and there is a video about the bow hand specifically, but basically my hand is normal. This is my regular hand shape, okay, and the, the, and the, the bow slots right into it. Um, and we'll, remember, we'll talk about the key is here. All my fingers are super curved. You can see that every finger is nice and relaxed. I can I can flex my fingers nice and easy. Um, nothing's nothing squeezing really hard. There's no death grip on this thing. And when I move the bow, it's going parallel to the bridge. Okay, so it's making like a train track. I'm gonna talk over the video in a voiceover to explain how each one works. So I don't have to keep stopping. But here we're gonna start 11. We're just gonna keep on going. Spiccato. So spiccato is the bouncing bow style. So the bow is bouncing up and down off of the string. I'm using a normal bow stroke and letting the bow bounce. I'm not forcing it. I'm not lifting it off the string. Think of it as a flat U rather than a uh, regular shaped U. Staccato. Now the, the staccato, we want eight equal bows. So eight bows that take up the entire entirety of the bow. We don't want to leave a bunch at the end. We don't want to end up with no bow for the last three or four bows. That, that doesn't make a good sound. The key here is that each bow equally sounds. Uh, each one has a nice um, equal sound for all. So to retake, we want a big down bow, and then we lift, return to the frog, and then do an up bow. So it's not a it's not a lift where we go down, down. It's actually down, up, down, up, down. So you're actually doing a regular bow stroke. You can see I'm also kind of coming off the string a little bit. It's a sort of a spiccato bow stroke. Helps make it clean. Helps make those notes clean. For grand martelet, we're using as much as the bow as we can, frog to tip, and we're putting a nice pop on either direction so you hear each note really clearly. You should be able to get a nice big sound doing this one because you're using lots of bow and you can see the bow still going parallel. It's really important that you watch your bow during these exercises. There's nothing else to look at. The notes are the same. Hooked or linked. For hooked or linked, we're going the same direction two times. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. You can see I'm still using a ton of the bow um, and I get a nice big sound when I do that. Clearly separated. Lore is a tricky one. It's it's not really a stop bow. It's more that the bow slows down in between the notes, and you get a nice gentle separation. Really, it's about getting a gentle separation between the notes. It's not really stopping. Too short, and it's a staccato. Tremolo. For the tremolo, you're going to be at the upper half of the bow. You have to be to do this. You need to super relax your hand. You can see I bring it up into the camera here. My hand's very tilted, and I'm basically just using the really relaxed Arco fingers to make that happen. Arco pits, we have to keep a nice bow hand, stay near the frog, and keep our bow hand even while we pit the cut. So we just kind of reach our first finger over top of the bow. That's 11 to 18. 